We're going to bring up uh, one half of this great fight. As I said, one of the first guys that believed in us and, and jumped ship to design Jesse Vargas. He's been waiting for this opportunity, this big fight, which we promised that we'd deliver for him. He didn't moan, he didn't slag us off, he didn't tweet rubbish, he waited and believed in us and now he gets this opportunity. A great fighter, former uh, two division world champion, Jesse Vargas. Well, thank you, Eddie. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Good afternoon to everyone. It's a pleasure being here. And quite honestly, it's just faith. You know, I have faith in the people you work with, and thankfully I've had that. I know I, I did my research, and I know what each person is about who is uh, a part of my team. Thankfully, it's, it's worked out, and my faith continues on them. You know, I continue to have faith in them, and here we are now. The fight that we have, that we're promoting now, is against Mikey Garcia, a fight that the fight fans will definitely enjoy and are intrigued to see come February 29th on The Zone in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'm excited, I mean, you have two fighters, you know, one of myself, and of course you have Garcia, who is a very talented fighter. He always uh, puts on a good performance and uh, he gives it his all. He's a warrior, just as I am. And I think that the fans are gonna benefit from it come February 29th. You're gonna see an action-packed fight, two Mexican-American warriors going at it. You know, I have heard on social media, I have uh, fight fans commenting already. It has uh, uh, Morales versus Barrera written all over it. I'm not sure if we can live up to those expectations, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we will get close to it. You know, and uh, it, it's a hard task to, to have in front of us, but I'm excited. I'm stoked. Uh, I can't wait to get into training camp. I mean, t literally tomorrow I'll begin. I know that Garcia is a, a tough fighter and uh, I have to prepare properly in order to come out victorious. But uh, I mean, I have to take this fight serious and uh, not overlook Mikey Garcia. Much credit for him for taking this fight. And I uh, also let my Spanish speaking fans know, muchas gracias por venir. Les agradezco todo su apoyo, gracias por estar aquí presente. Este, pues ya por fin, ¿no? Este ya se hizo una pelea bastante grande. Yo siempre tuve fe en el equipo que, que tengo, el equipo que está al lado, al lado mío, ¿no? Por creer en mí, por seguir apoyándome. Y ahora estamos en una posición para estar en una pelea del año en contra de Mikey García. Siento que va a ser una pelea para la gente, ¿no? Una pelea que nuestros aficionados van a estar gustosos de ver. Una pelea que. O sea, tengo gente que dice, pues esa pelea puede ser una pelea, pelea parecida como a un bar, Barrera Morales, uno, ¿no? Y uno nunca sabe, o sea, es una pelea difícil para llegar a alcanzar ese tipo de nivel, pero si alguien lo tiene, yo pienso que somos nosotros, dos guerreros mexicanos este, dispuestos a dar el todo por el todo arriba del cuadrilátero. Eso es lo que van a tener el 29 de febrero en Dallas, Texas. Y pues quiero agradecerles a mi mamá, a mi papá, por estar presente y siempre apoyarme. Les, les agradezco, fui que quiera un round of applause, un, un aplauso para mis padres, por favor, que siempre me han apoyado, que me han apoyado mi youth, and I appreciate that. And thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy the fight. Tune in February 29th. Thank you all for believing in me, and um, very appreciative. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse, and uh, great words, and welcome to Mr. Mrs. Garcia there, getting ready for for Mr. Mrs. Barbex, for, for getting ready for a big camp coming up, which we know you're so involved with as well. Um, the other part of this great fight, February the 29th, a man who we are ecstatic to bring to the design platform. Can't wait to see him in action. Four division world champion, Mikey Garcia. Hello, everybody. Well, I'm uh, very excited to be here. I'm very excited. Uh, to finally get uh, to get back in the ring, so you know it's uh, it's been a long long journey, long time. I'm looking forward to another stage of my career. You know, I want to keep growing that legacy. I want to keep giving the fans fights to remember. That in the end of my career, people will turn back and look at my career and be like, Man, that guy fought everybody. That guy was not afraid. That guy took on every challenge and that's that's really what motivates me. So a fight with Jesse does that, you know, it gives me the opportunity to show everybody that there's much more in Mikey Garcia. You know, a lot more that I can deliver and I think this fight allows me to bring out the best out of me and really give my fans, you know, what I'm what I what I want to give, you know, the full Mikey Garcia. 
you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be an easy fight. I don't think it's an easy fight. I don't take easy fights. In fact, there were fights that I turned down because I felt they were too easy. Um, my dad and my brother were asking me, why don't I just take X, B, C, or whoever, you know, and I said, no, 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 because I don't take easy fights. I don't want that. I want to have a challenge. I want to have something that can really push me, that can really motivate me and excite me. And Jesse Vargas does that. He's a, a true champion, two division champion. You know, has fought some of the best in, in, in the era, and uh, it's it's the biggest challenge for me. You know, coming back, you know, after a long layoff, after my, my my last performance, horrible performance. You know, I lost my fight. There's a lot of questions. You know, so I want to be able to answer those questions with this kind of fight. That's why we really picked. You know, and, and, and agreed on fighting Jesse Vargas. He's gonna get the best out of me. You know, he's gonna uh, bring the best out of me, and I think I'm gonna bring out the best out of him. You know, when you have two fighters that want it as much, and we know what's at stake. You know, for the future, I got big plans. He's got big plans. You know, so the, those are all the elements that make this such a great fight. And I'm just very happy to be here. I'm happy to be able to uh, get back in the ring. There's a lot more uh, in Mikey Garcia that I want to deliver. This is the beginning of this next stage. You know, a lot of times fighters are are counted out, counted off after a loss. Well, it's really what you do after that really gives that exclamation mark in, in your career, and that's what I plan on doing. You know, I'm gonna bounce back. I'm gonna show everybody that there's much more that I, I'm accomplished, a lot more to deliver, and you know, I'm, I'm very happy. You know, we. Partnered up for the, for this fight, we made an agreement, agreed with uh, Matchroom and with uh, the Zone. I think uh, it's a great fit. It's been a long time in the making, but uh, we're happy to be here. I'm happy to really explore this, and uh, you know it makes sense for for both. You know it makes sense for both, and I also want to thank uh, Jesse and his team for accepting the the fight. You know it's not uh, just my you know, my decision was also his decision. And so I thank him and his team. Uh, I want to thank Matrim for actually, you know, putting the show together, the zone for allowing me this opportunity. I want to thank everybody, everybody, you know, without you, you know, present, you know, giving the, putting the word out and showing everybody, you know, what we're about and the kind of fight that we're expecting to have, you know, the fight doesn't doesn't get uh, as, as, as uh, duplicity as it should. So I want to thank everybody again. Um, but this is not the end of me, you know, there's, there's plenty more, and this is only the beginning. Um, I was saying earlier, you know, the best is yet to come, well, this is, is part of that. You know, we're, we're still, we're barely, you know, picking up pace. Um, I'm just, I'm just very happy, you know, I think 2020 will be a great year, and it all starts on February the 29th in Dallas. Thank you. Thank you, Mikey. Great words. Two great champions, two great individuals, two great ambassadors for the sport box. And we cannot wait for this event, February the 29th, Frisco, Texas. And it's going to be a fantastic fight live, of course, on the zone. We want to also thank the media here today for all your continued support throughout the year. It's been a long, long, hard road. And for as much as the fighters put the work in, we put the work in, you guys put the work in as well because you're traveling all the time. You're at the events covering sometimes. You're not getting the interviews you want, the access that you want. We hope that the Zone and Matrim, we give you that. We look forward to giving you more of that in 2020. And uh, I want to thank again Jesse Vargas and Mikey Garcia. It's going to be a hell of a fight, February the 29th. We're going to uh, have a face-off up here now, and then both guys available to the media as well. Anthony Lever and Greg from the Zone are going to sort that out. Thanks so much. And if we don't see you beforehand, hopefully you can make Phoenix on Friday. And if we don't see you there, we wish you a wonderful Christmas and a blessing in 2020. Thank you very much.
Just like that, I want.